White Bull's IGC recently wrapped up its fourth and final meeting of the year. The subject was traditional knowledge. Vent Vendland is the committee secretary. Vent, thanks for being with us here today. Give us a quick readout on the most recent IGC. Let me first uh, recall certain aspects of the mandate of the IGC. The mandate's quite long, but I'll just pick out three features. Uh, the first is that the IGC should reach agreement on the text of an international legal instrument or instruments, singular and plural. Uh, secondly, uh, it should narrow gaps on the unresolved issues. And thirdly, it should reach a common understanding on what are called the core issues. So in that context, the IGC, this session uh, that has just finished, uh, began with a draft of the international legal instrument, a draft text, and it produced a second version. So what issues were the, were the delegates discussing specifically and how did the draft that emerged at the end of the week differ from that at the beginning? So the IGC has been focused on four or five main issues for the last couple of years and of course this session was no different. Uh, that is focusing on the objectives of protection of TK, the beneficiaries, the scope of rights, exceptions and the definition of the subject matter. This session was different in the sense it also addressed other issues that haven't been spoken about for some years, such as formalities and term, so the length that the protection would subsist for. I think member states will all have their own perceptions and views as to whether progress has been made, and I would leave that to the member states. But what I would say is that on many of the articles, the different points of view are now clearly visible, and uh, that's maybe the first step in narrowing the gaps is to see what the gaps are. So what comes next for the IGC? The IGC, we're back again. It meets again in about nine weeks' time at the end of February on traditional cultural expressions. Thank you very much.